Alright, so today we're going to be installing some lights for reversing on Luke's Amarok. So he wants a pair of these LED lights to turn on when he's reversing, and he also wants a switch to turn those on. So what we've got is the LED light, there's another one on the bench over there, uh, an inline fuse holder, a bit of conduit, a relay, some 10 amp wire, so there's 15 meters here which is more than plenty. I've just grabbed uh, a blue wire, which I'm going to call signal wire, and a black wire, which I'm going to call earth, so that's pretty simple, and another fuse for that inline fuse holder. Then coming over here, we've got a couple different types of terminals, some pliers, a bit more wire just in case we need it, solder, this is a soldering assistant type thing, um, I'm only going to use this purely so that it's easier to film, and then I've got a bit of heat shrink, and some, some lighters, and some matches, and then the soldering iron, so I'm just going to lay this all out, work out what I'm doing, and then I'll explain it and solder it all together. So we've got six wires here, and there's only four pins on the relay. So two of them are actually going to go from one pin to the other, um, and have a switch in between, so we can turn the light on and off without chucking in reverse. So then I've got a feed out, feed in, switch, switch signal, and the earth, and then the two switch wires. So I'm just going to have a quick play and mock this all up. So I've just soldered the inline fuse to this big length of wire. So this is going to go straight to the battery and then the fuse, which I've put in there. Like so. And then this will run down to the relay. But I want to run this under the car and then cut it to length. So I'll put this aside for now. So next up we've got these three wires, which are the power out, the signal, and the earth. So these three need a female pin on them so they can click into the male pins on the relay. So before I do this I need to work out where the switched wires are going so we can flick the relay on and off without reverse. So if you look at this diagram here, or this piece of information, it says pin 30 is power in, pin 85 is earth, pin 86 is switch and pin 87 is power out for the accessory so that'll be for the light. So I just go off of this, which comes with the relay, that's the back of the packaging. And then with this, I can wire up the relay. So I'm going to start with the earth, because that doesn't need anything other than one pin on it. So just strip that and put a turtle on it. So I just grab some different heat shrink that fits over the terminal, like so. So because this isn't attached to anything else on the other end, I don't need to put it on just yet. So I'll leave that on. So with some of these terminals you actually get in the back and fill it with solder, which I like to do. Um, this one I won't be able to, so I'll just have to rely on the heat shrink and that crimp. So there's one done, and then it wants to go to pin 85. So if you look under here, next to the terminals it actually says what pin is what. So pin 85 is this one over here, and that's where we want our earth wire to go. Done. So now once we get this in the car, I can cut this to length and put an O-ring on the other end, an O-ring terminal on the other end, and join it into the car. So next up is the blue switched wire, which will be going to the reverse lights. This is the first wire that needs to have one of these small uh, extensions on it. So I need to put two wires into the one terminal. So I'll strip two of these, twist them together, tin both of them together, then put the terminal on. And again, these are both open-ended, so I don't need to put the heat shrink on them just yet. So they're both bared, and they are both twisted together. So now I just need to tin the pair together. So again, you get your terminal, 
work out how long you want to cut this to. Chuck your terminal on there, your crimp, sorry. Get the right number again. So just get some more heat shrink and put that on over the both of the wires and onto the terminal. So this is the wire that goes to the relay that will be the switch. So we want it to turn on with the reverse lights. So that's the blue wire. So that's the switch, which is pin 86. So if we look on the bottom of the relay, pin 86 is this one just here. So you can click that on. And that's two out of the four done. So pop it over here. So the next wire is the accessory out which is the long red wire which I cut off before. This one here. So that doesn't need anything but just a terminal on it. So just crimp, cut this, sort of strip this, tin it, put the pin on, and use an heat trick. So that's that one done. So referring back to the back of the packaging, that is, this is the power output, so this goes to the LEDs. So power output accessory, pin 87. So we're gonna get the relay again, find pin 87. So pin 87 on the bottom there. And that's all we can do for now. So I could heat shrink all of these together or something, make them very nice, but We've got one more wire to add, which I have to run through the car first. So I'll show you that once I get under the car. But that wire will be coming from the car to here. And then this other switch wire that I was talking about before will go to here. And then the switch will go on this end. So all that switch will do is add direct power to the signal. So from the battery to the signal wire, which will turn the relay on and then give full power out of the accessory wire. So that's all we can do for now. So I've drawn this out and I may as well show you guys as well. So we've got the battery, the relay, the LEDs, the switch that we want to turn the lights on with and the reverse light wire, which we want to turn the lights on. So battery, positive power straight to the relay, which if we look at this diagram here is pin 30. So this is pin 30, I'll just write that on there. And then we've got the reverse light wire. So when you put the car in reverse, this wire becomes live, which will be our switch wire. So that's pin 86. We've got an earth wire, which is pin 85. And then the last wire is the power out for the accessories. So that's pin 87. So the plan is to put this wire here to switch so that this full power from the battery goes to the switch wire, turns the relay on, and then this wire feeds the accessories. So all a relay does is a switch. So you put power here, it earths out here, switches this over, switches this over and joins these two wires together. So we're just going to try and trick the reverse lights into being on. So all we need to do is add power to this wire here. And the best way to do that is from this pin to this pin. So pin 30 and pin 86 will both have two wires coming out of them. One will go to the battery, one will go to the reverse light, and then the other two will go to the switch. So it should be pretty easy, and let's get stuck into it. So Luke's just got here, and we're going to start running the wire from the front of the car to the back. We've just taken the battery cover off, and there's a terminal in here which has already got the accessories from his canopy. So I'm just going to take this nut off, slip this on, and then feed all this wire to the back of the car. And zip tied along the chassis rail or along some brake lines or something like that, but we'll get there in a second. So we just fed the wire snake through, and now I'll just get this attached to that, and we can pull it all back through, and then run it along the chassis rail. So we're just fishing the wire through the first section of the set, chassis and then we'll start zip tying it once it gets through the back. So we're just laying under Luke's car, trying to work out where we're going to put the relay and where the switch will end up. So Luke kind of wants the switch in this area so you can just reach under the back and flick it on. 
So we put the relay sort of anywhere in here. It'll be fine. I'm um, just going to work out where we want it. What are we doing now, Jeff? Buying these whole wires and we're going to run the power and the earth to the LEDs and then we can mount them to the car, run them to the relay that we just put under the car and then skip their work. So I just finished wiring up this LED, so I just added a couple of meters to the each of the terminals. Um, so this is just to make it a little bit easier once we get under Luke's car. We're not trying to find this little piece, we've got this one for now. So I'm just going to do the other one, and then we can try and mount these to his car. Run the wires through, cut them to length, doobie doobie doobie, and hook it up to the relay. All right, so we just drilled two holes in here. Uh, we've marked them out on this side, drilled them out on this side. So the top one will be for the bolt on the LED, and the bottom one will be for the wires. So I have to go and get some bigger drill bits from the shed because we've only got a 10 mil. So we just finished up this side. The neighbors decided to mow his lawn. So we just finished up this side. Just got to drill two holes on this side, put the bolts in, and then feed the wires through like we have on his side. And then we'll be all done up here, and it's all under the bottom, which we have to focus on. So this is the correct size for the bolt. This one's going to get opened up for the rubber grommet. And I've drilled through two pieces of metal here. So on the back side, I've got to drill this hole a little bit bigger for the bolt head. And this hole, the same size as this one, uh, for the grommet. So this one will be a 16mm the whole way through. This one will be a 16mm on the back and an 8mm on the front. So I'm just going to go in and uh, get rid of this burr first. And then I'll drill all the way through here, jump underneath, drill the back. Just crimping on some new terminals and doing some heat shrink for the lights. So we're going to have two for each light. So two power, two earth for each light. And then this is the earth from the relay, which I said I was going to do differently, but it's just going to run through one wire. So the earth for the relay, the earth for the LEDs will go to a fresh earth um, instead of going to their own, which doesn't make really any difference. So just got the heat shrink and then I'm going to do the other end, which is the LEDs. But the wind is making it difficult. Don't bet your thumb. No, I just did. You're my mum. You're not my mum. You're not my real dad. My real ladder. You're just my step ladder. So my neighbors decided it's a good time to use a chainsaw. So mind the noise. Uh, we've got two power wire, a power wire that splits into two, and an earth wire that splits into two, and then goes to an earth pole. And then the LEDs I've wired up one on one pin on each. So I'm just going to plug these in, and then make an earth, and then wire in the reverse switch. So I'll do that now while I'm talking. That sounded like a big one. Is he still on the roof? Mm, yeah, he is. That's the main thing. So I just took a nut off of here, and now I'm going to run the earth wire to that. So that's an earthing switch for the original stuff. I'm just going to run a black wire to there, and chuck one of these terminals on there. Bloop, and then put the nut back on. Alright, so we've done everything to make the lights work. Um, Luke's got the two switch wires which we haven't terminated yet and he's got a piece of wire acting as the switch. So when he puts that wire and joins it together, the lights come on. And off. And you can actually hear the relay click as well. So now we just need to get a switch for here and wire up the reverse light.
So this is the trail plug wiring that is aftermarket. So I need to get the black wire, which is this one here, which is super convenient, and cut it and put a wire into it. So what I've done here is just cut this so you can plug it back together and then I've disconnected them and I have this wire here plug into that one and then this wire here will plug into the wire coming from the relay have one terminal on them and plug back into there so your reverse lights for your trailer will still work and then this will be powered for the LEDs. So the lights are all wired up, you're just going to get a switch from Sprints and plug these two in and make them all nice and neat. But now if Luke jumps in the car and puts it in reverse, we should have extra reverse lights. So with the switch, the actual reverse light didn't come on either, but now it should come on these two and that one. Done. And off. And on. Yeah boy. So now we're just gonna get a switch and we're all done. All right, so we just got back from the shops. We've got a switch for the Amarok. So we've just mounted it under the bumper bar here. And you just flick it on with your finger, just lean underneath. And then this turns the reverse lights on. Or off. So we just finished Luke's car. So we're all done with the lights for now. So he's pretty happy with them, I think. Stick your hand under the corner. Boom. Daylight! Plenty bright enough. So that's all for this week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.